Ja, da war vierte. Das ist schon mal. This is Robin Bag. You can see there are some user guide, warranty card. And this is. You yeah, this is the second layer of the box. Yes. This is two in one audio cable. Yeah, it's a USB C to. USB C and USB A audio cable. So it contains a adapter here. Yes. So let us show you clearly. This is my thing and wrong base. So the last thing is a uh, wrong base, like it's fully metal and uh, well built. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This all the this all the components in the kit. So here you can see that. Well, there is a comment saying that we are not live on the YouTube channel. I will check that. And um, actually, just now the like the winner list is for the like new products post giveaway event so we're just now not like uh, you, you don't miss the giveaway so <laughs> we we just haven't started yet but thank you so much for your advice i will check that to see if we are go live on the youtube well uh, at present i believe that we are now live on youtube now Here we go. So, all right. Amazing design. Thank you so much. Can this record to media card or internal card hard drive? Oh, it's an internal hard drive. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, we're live on YouTube. And uh, please don't be upset because we haven't started our giveaway for today's now. So just now we just announced the winner list for the previous giveaway that we launched like uh, last week. Yeah, we launched some giveaways on our Instagram post and the Facebook post and just now we just announced the winners list. So don't be upset. And the price of STAU2 a is uh, one hundred and nine dollars, and the SAU two D is ninety eight dollars. Okay, let's talk about the main features of SAU two. Yeah, the SAU two is a sixty millimeter cardioid condenser mic. It can effectively avoid picking up the ambient noises of the side or back. The cardioid polar pattern is an excellent choice in most situations in studio, in live streaming, and in podcasting. Whenever we need a clean, isolated sound source, STAU2 is a cardioid microphone that could be considered. That's right, by positioning per the STAU2 properly, like we use in the live streaming room, we, and we can essentially isolate a single sound source it helps if the unwanted sound source are behind the microphone in the direction that's to say the worst best when closing micing is a source that does not have other so sound source near or behind it yeah it worth noting that the stau2 is equipped with a 48 kilohertz and 24 bit ultra high sampling rate and the bit depth to capture high and low audio signals which reach detail with rich details of uh, the sound in addition we upgrade the intelligent noise reduction technology so uh, which creates per 
professional audio level sound quality and restores real sound. You can hear the high sound quality with the STAU2. Yes, the STAU2 has a USB-C digital output port at the bottom of the mic. In uh, we offer the two-in-one charging and up output cable in the package. The cable has one. 1.8 meter long. Uh, considering that some users need to use the devices with USB USB A interface, we also equip with USB A adapter in the audio cable. You can see this is the USB A adapter, and this is USB C to USB C cable here. And the USB A U2 is widely compatible with the phones, tablets, and computers. Yeah, uh, there was a comment asking, does it come with a case or sleeves? Uh, unfortunately, we don't include this with a case or sleeves, but, uh, you know, just now we just open up the uh, box. I believe that it will use it as well. And um, so just now we're introducing the cables that we included. So if you want to use the lightning port mm -hmm. devices, please purchase corresponding USB to lightning adapter cables by yourself. So let me show you how to connect it. So here Astrid are holding a mm -hmm. USB-C to lightning adapter here. Mm -hmm. So you can see that. We just use it to connect to the SB. USB-C and here connects to the mic itself, so you are good to go. Uh, this is the um, so this is how you can use it to your iPhones. Now, let's check the comments. It has AGC. Could you please tell me what is the AGC stands for? So sorry for that. Is the dual XLR connector included? O okay. Um, so just now we are only introducing the STAU2. So it's a USB-C microphone. So uh, later soon we'll introducing the AD caster you can see that the design is so good for live streaming thank you thank you so much all right let's continue to the next part How many versions are there? So uh, it's only like two versions. One is the desk version and one is the Boma version. Mm -hmm. But the Boma version contains two colors. One is black and one is white. And the desk version only has the black. You can see the SDU2 is pro and pre connection. The ability to plug the mic directly into USB Devices makes it super easy. Yeah. Uh, this is the minimum efforts required in connecting the device, which enhance efficiency. You don't have to worry about mo multiple cables and settings to get yourself ready to record. Yeah, the STAU2 USB mic are also powered straight from the device's USB port, eliminating the need for an external power supply. This all-in-one nature also means that USB mic setups take up less space, which is ideal if you like keeping your desk neat. Um, besides, in order to feel the atmosphere whether it's recording, live streaming, or podcasting, there are six unique lighting effects on the STAU2. You can change the light effects through the lighting yeah, effects switch button on the mic. This is the this is the lighting effects switch button. 
long press to turn on and turn off the mic and short press to switch the lighting effects. Let me show them on video to you one by one. Yeah, we prepared a video that to show you like the exact how the lights are showing. So, could you please play the video for us? Okay, just wait us for a little bit moment. Oh, let's check the comments now. There are so many comments that we I like the windscreen design. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, you can that actually it's really cute. You can okay. see the video. Yeah. There are some six effects, lighting effects. Here. Here we go. See, it's, it's really beautiful, right? After watching these six lighting effects, which lighting effect do you like best? You can tell us in the comment section. Yeah, I just now checking the comments and there is a comment saying that I like the windscreen design. And exactly, it's like a seldom items, seldom design that are like this one, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a like metal windscreen. And the versions behind you, this one is the 80 coaster. This one, you mean? This one is the 80 coaster, and we will introduce it to you later soon. Is it a standard mic stand mount? Yes, exactly. Any store in Pakistan? Uh, we indeed have some like uh, dealers in Pakistan. You can DM us so that we can send you some information about them. The boss. box. Uh, 3.5 millimeter input can be phantom power. Uh, so this one is it's the USB C, C mic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a 3.5 millimeter mic input. So it is. It supports Pro MPEG collection. Yeah, but later soon we will introduce to you a 3.5 millimeter mic that don't need the phantom power. So yes. stay tuned. This mic have any software to customize sounds. Uh no, the like the sound drive is also is in already like insert into the mic. Pretty nice mic. What sort of shock mount isolate do mics have? Um so here here you want to see the shark on here? So this is the shark mount, so you can see that. Yes, and this Let's is show pop you more filter. This is so pop here filter. is the pop filter. Yes. Nice mic, thank you. Can the mixer be purchased separately? Yes. Are those mics support phantom power? Uh, this mic don't need the phantom power. Yeah, yes. these mics uh, don't need phantom power because it's a USB-C mic. I'm here in New York City. I have several of your products that I use all the time. Thank you. I saw that your, like, your names are really similar. Thank you, amazing design. Oh, let's keep on going. Uh, this is uh, monitoring. Yeah, let's show you the monitoring head have port. Port, port at, on the back. You can plug the 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRS monitoring headphone into it. Real time monitoring can help you hear yourself better, so you can adjust your recordings. And there is a monitoring value control button, and the uh, game control adjustment on the front as you can see here uh, using the microphone to record and monitoring your audio you can control the output game and provide a great recording experience yes. and this is a muting muting button uh, you can touch to mute when not speak not speaking to avoid any unwanted noise or sound come as on-site com conversation from being picked up, 
The indicator show blue when not muting. It shows red when muting. Yeah, it's all like a touch screen, so it mm -hmm. won't occur any like noises that you don't want it. So in addition, um, we are also like prepared free uh, or some presets. So as you can see now, let us show you. Okay, mm -hmm. lights are on. So here you can see that under the mute button, this is the mm -hmm. sound preset switch button. Mm -hmm. And the STAU2 has a built-in newly upgraded sound card without installing additional drivers, providing high fidelity sound quality, making the record effects fuller and more storytelling. You can switch these sound presets for podcasting, streaming, and singing to experience different immersive atmospheres. So now the presets we're using in live streaming is podcast mode. We can you can hear the effects. Well, let me change mine to you. And I believe that will be like some difference between that what I'm using just now. Mm -hmm. Here is the second one. So the indicator shows blue yeah. in podcast, podcast mode. mode. It shows green in streaming mode yeah now i'm in the streaming mode and it shows kenyan in singing mode so uh, now what i am talking to you is the singing mode so you can hear the difference now well i'm turning off and can you hear the difference uh yeah can you hear the difference or mm -hmm. is it good you can comment down and show us and in the podcast mode, it many boosts the low frequency to make the human voice warmer, uh, simulating the timbre of a uh, dynamic mark. In the streaming mode, it can offset the sound compression yeah, by the live streaming platform. In the singing mode, it brightens the hue human voice turns on the reward mode yeah. and simulates the reverberation in the room, you can choose the sound presets according to your recording situation. Yeah, exactly. Well, heavy reverb. So uh, there are totally three sound presets and um, pretty good with the building sound cards so users can be more creative. Exactly. Looks so awesome. Good for use any vlog, any recorder. It is good. Okay, thank you so much. And just now I saw that do you have the polar pattern for this? So this is a cardioid condenser mic. If you want to see that like more uh, specifications of this mic, you can DM us on the Instagram so that DM us on Instagram or Facebook so that we can show you the details. Can you adjust that? Will there be other effects offered as updates? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the free sound presets is all settled down and uh, we don't have, we, we have no, I, we have no way to adjust it. And um, I believe there will be no effects as update. Yeah. We might need and like need the help of the audio interface, and also you can see the appearance. So the SDAU two is made of completely metal material with strong shielding that can effectively isolate external electromagnetic magnet interference and ensure its stable and durable performance. It also has a professional shock mount and. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. metal pop filter just just like uh, we showed you before the professional shock shock absorbing bracket design to reduce the noise stability of the microphone and the metal pop filter effectively reduces plosives and hissing sounds and there are two versions to stau u2 dm u stau 2a the stau 2a 
has two colors, black and white. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like? You can tell us in the comment section. The SCU2D is the desktop version, equipped with desktop mic stand, visible extension and combination. Yeah, exactly. Equipped with a desktop mic stand, the ROM base is also made of solid metal. You can stand the SCU2 firmly on the stable to start recording. Besides, the SCU2A is the ARM version. It is equipped with the adjustable boom arm that supports the load bearing up to 3 kg for stable usage. The boom arm can be fully adjusted to see to meet the needs of different sense and recording angles. Yeah. Oh, there's a comment how many custom sound can be added into the jingle pad. Only one custom. So you are you are seeing the eighty caster? Yes, only one customer sound pad. The white look is very sexy. It is. <laughs> So when you are live streaming at home, at studio, or in other environments that easily produce noise sources, you can use the SDAU2 with cardioid pattern and place noise sources such as keyboards and computer hosts behind the microphone, which can effectively be recording without the ambient noise. So that's a really good way to avoid such like noise. In music production, you can use the morning function of SAU2 to hear the sound you recorded and better to adjust the recording parameters through the game and monitor independent knob, reducing the editing burden for post-production. Mm -hmm. And the STU2 is a high quality 60mm cardioid condenser microphone, has 48kHz and 24 bit recording, which can restore more sound details with high resolution, making the sound fuller. Uh, when recording audiobooks and podcasts at home, you can also achieve a studio level high quality recording experience. In conclusion, the STU2 is a series of brand new. USB -C USB microphone kit. It has studio level poor sound quality, bright RGB lights, convenient independent game, and monitoring volume adjustment knobs, accuracy mute, touch control switch, and three sound presets, bringing a more convenient live streaming and diverse streaming effects. The SCU2 series is suitable for recording, broadcasting, gaming, and music creation. It could be your recording company and anytime, anywhere. Yeah, anytime, anywhere. Uh, so just now, uh, there was a question asking us if it has uh, automatic gain control and uh, it's not automatic on the STAU2 and we need to adjust it by ourselves. Your voice is not clear, please use the uh, phone in this room. So you are talking about our audio quality? I use that for a second. Hello. Yeah, great for Twitch stream. And we are talking like a lot of features of SDAU2. Which features do you like the most? I know that you you are waiting for the giveaway now, right? So this time we will give you a question and the first correct answer will be the winner of the STAU2D. So mm -hmm. it's the eco. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Where is the echo? Looking for a great purple podcasting product to use the wireless mics. It may be the answer. Exactly.
Do we need the sound card to connect the mic to PC? No, you don't need the sound card. The sound card is already inserted into the mic. So it's like a built-in sound card. Don't need any drivers. Okay, let me check with my colleagues. All right, uh, let's have time to like adjust my mic. So real-time one screen as well. iPhone connection and uh, the cable that we included in the kit is a USB-C to USB-C and USB-A cable. So if you need to use your like iPhone you should prepare the USB-C to lighting adapter. Yeah, with OTG function. Yes. That sh one should be like, it need to be noted. Available now, price point on just the mixer. Oh, that still U2 is av available now on the Amazon and the AliExpress. Price point on just the mixer. Well, we will introduce the mixer later soon, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much. So far, I have not been disappointed with my Comica purchases. Can I record ASMR? Yes, of course. But I'm not. I, I'm not professional on ASMR things, but I will touch the, you know, touch the here. So maybe you can hear some sound. So can you hear some song? I'm really sorry, I'm not good at ASMR things. <laughs> so I'm just like a simple test of that. <laughs> so can you hear that? If that sounds good on mm -hmm. ASMR? Yeah, it's possible connecting with iPad Pro for streaming. Yes, and also the cable is already connects to uh, included in the kit. So we prepared the USB C to USB C cable and also an USB C to USB A adapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you want to connect to your Lightning devices, you need to prepare the adapter by yourself. I love the intelligent noise in the mic. Have a backup record records. Uh, it doesn't have the backup backup records. I was told I want my contract. Congratulations to you. Yes, exactly. Amazing Thank ASMR. You. Good kit. Thank, Thank you. Okay. Uh, so this time, the price is uh STA U2D. So here is the prizes. And uh, we will ask you one question about STAU2. So the first correct answer would be the winner of it. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So comment and let, let me know. Mm -hmm. The giveaway time. A1 ready? Yeah. You my like nervous moments now. I'm now like uh yeah. yes all right the question is what is the name of three sound presets what's the name of three sound presets yeah so let it let us know what's the name of three sound presets let us know i'm waiting for the comments now so the first correct answer will be the winner. Yes. Quick, 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 quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's like comic rules. Exactly. What's the name of three sound presets? You know, looking for the answers mm -hmm. on our website or something like that. Oh, mm -hmm. here is the answer. Podcasting, Asking. singing, and streaming mm -hmm. from when? 
Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys are looking for the answer on our website or on our post, maybe. Yes. So the winner is when? Yes, congratulations. Please yeah, DM the... our social media and we will send us the live prize, stream. the STAU2 mm -hmm. after the live streaming. Yeah, and also welcome to tell us more feedbacks about the product so we can, you know, make some upgrade or make more better products. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey. Yeah, all right. So here is all the section of the STU U2. Yes. If you have any questions, you can, um, you know, comment down mm -hmm. and let us know and we will, like, tell you more about the STU2. And uh, so here is the STU2. And uh, now we will unbox our next new products. It's the Adicaster C1K1. Mm -hmm. And I, I know you guys are waiting for a long time. So let's take a closer look at what's inside the box. Box is too So open the box. You can hear that here is the ADCAST C1, the audio interface itself. And uh, this one is the STAX2S Cardioid Condenser mic, but mm -hmm. it is a XLR to 3.5 millimeter TRS microphone. So this is used as a companion to the ADCaster. We will talk about it later. And this one is the ADCaster C1. Here we go. Let's see. You can see the appearance. What does it look like? Mm -hmm. Right? Can you use a word to like describe the impression of Adicaster C1? Comment down below and share with us. Let me open it. When we open it, it will like automatically like lighten up. And uh, here we go. This is the uh, instrument bag and it contains the user manual and the one special thing is that there is two, two. like pads here so you can install it to your AD caster so you can know that what kind of uh, sound effects you are using now so this is the applause laughters funny awkward and the, the last one is the customer customized button here And uh, also some warranty cards and user manuals here. Okay, let's see the second layer. So the second layer, we can see that there is a pop filter. Let me, let me check it with you. Pop filter and the shock, shock mount. mount. Here we go. Shock mount. My desktop. So it's so tight enough. <laughs> so, in case some um, unwanted damage, so here is the stand here, and also the run base. Well, we'll not show you. I mean, we'll not show you the run base here, but I will show you some cables here. So this one is the 3.5 millimeter to XLR cables. This one is only used for the microphone, like X, uh, the X2S. Just now we're seeing this. So this is cable is for the microphone to connect to your AD caster. And this one, this one, the special one is a uh, USB-C to dual XLR cable. So here you can see that it's showing one and two means the XLR input one and XLR input two. So you can uh, like adjust the gain separately. And this one is also using on the AD caster. So here is like a three. 
3.5mm audio cable and uh, this one is the audio cable for your like a USB microphones or something like that so here is also a USB C to USB C and USB A audio cable so you can see the adapter here and this one is the charging cable USB A to USB C charging cable and there is also one like uh, TRS to TRRS audio cable so two 3.5mm cable here and the price of AD caster yeah that actually show you the run base and the price of the AD caster C1 is $169 um, yeah we will talk about like more features about the AD caster C1 K1 Here we go. Come on, a unboxing. Check on Amazon. Okay. Size and design looks great. Is it a balanced mic? Yes. Why does it have the TRS? Is it for power? Very great. Well, next we will introduce like why we designed this mic. So. Uh, but before that, let's see some like front panels and mm -hmm. show you like how many imports and up outputs here. Uh, all right, let's go. Okay, let's see the front of the panel of the AD Caster C1. You will show it from top to bottom, and this is the e EQM reverse switch button, uh, shop button. Mm -hmm. See, shop, shop press this EQ button, uh, switch to deep, natural, bright effect, and shop press the reward mode, switch room, stage, hall, reward mode. And this, there are three audio dynamic parts. This is microphone one. This is microphone 2 and this is monitoring dynamic bar. And this is a uh, FS switch button. There are five, five FS effects. Male, female, tune, robot, monster. You can change the voice using this FS effect. It will be so fun when you you are using it in your live streaming and this is a uh, bluetooth indicator the indicator is off when uh, bluetooth is off in indicator yeah the indicator will be like flash when you mm -hmm. when the it is looking for the bluetooth device mm -hmm. the indicator shows blue when paired and this is the Power status indicates there are four power indicator nice one of which represents 25% of the power and the first indicator brings blue when battery is low and indicators brings blue one by one while tra charging. Yeah. And you can see there are four control knobs below. The yeah, four control knobs below, like uh, this is the preamp amplification gain can be adjusted separately independently to accurate control the input gain and uh, the big num here one click you can switch to real-time monitoring to adjust a uh, real-time monitoring volume or you can adjust the output gain yes you can see the here the and the, there is a yeah there is an indicator light that will light blue so you can see like what kind of volume are you adjusting now but we will talk them more detailed later soon so here is the denoise button mm. loop back dock and the mute button here and uh, the last is six audio effects button 
So the Adicast C1 has five presets, audio effects including applause, mm -hmm. laughter, cheering, fun, awkward. We will show them one by one later. And the last one is it's a custom audio effect mm -hmm. button. So you can record sounds or your voice or some music or beats via the mic or via any audio input. So the Bluetooth input or something or the 3.5 millimeter input and save it to the Adicaster C1. Yeah. And uh, let's see the top. Hello. Yeah, let's see the top panel, panel. of the AD caster. Mm -hmm. So you can see some like cables uh, now. Yes. This is a uh, up, up port. Yeah. Up port one and up port two. Uh you uh this is three point five millimeter TRS up port to connect phones, computers and tablets for audio signal output. And this is speaker output port to connect speakers for audio signal output. This is 3.5 millimeter TRS input port to connect computers, phones for external audio signal input. There are two input ports. This is a 3.5 millimeter TRS input port to connect mice for audio signal input. And let's see the last panel. And this is XLR1 and 2. On the left side, we have um, XLR1 and 2, which allows you to plug in up to two XLR microphones with the included uh, two XLR to USB C cable. Yeah, the cable here. Yes. So we equipped. Focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here is the USB C to two XLR cables. Mm -hmm. So you can plug into mm -hmm. this, uh, like interface so that you can connect to your two XLR microphones and this cable supports the mm -hmm. uh, 48 phantom power so you can use your like big condenser mics via this cable and this is reset hold if the device cannot be charged or is able to work inside the reset pin into the reset hole to reset it uh, this is a USB-C charging port plugged in the USB-C charging cable to connect AD to C1 and power bank or DC power to charge. Yeah, because the AD to C1 has a built-in lithium battery and uh, it has the 6 hour operating time. This is charging cable. Yeah. You can plug into the charging port mm, okay. to charge the ADC casters. C1 and this is a monitoring uh, port. Actually, there are two monitoring ports. Yes. On other side, um, this is 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRS headphones to monitor. Yeah, but the two monitoring like monitoring interface are exactly the same. So it's okay if you plug into the monitoring port one or two because they are both the same. This is the right panel. Yeah, on the right panel, we have like a USB-C port. This port is allows you to connect to your phones or computers to input or output audio signal. So this one is a USB-C that supports the input and output too. And uh, next, this switch is the Bluetooth switch. Okay, we just have something to focus on. Bluetooth switch move to turn on and off the Bluetooth mode. And the uh, mm -hmm. last one, power button, long press to turn on and off the uh, the Adicaster C1. And here, the another monitoring port that we mentioned too. Okay, uh, this is all the components of the Adicaster C1. And uh, let's see the comment section to check more comments and uh, to see if you have any questions. After seeing the brief introduction of Adicaster C1, are you uh, interested in the features of Adicaster C1? Please leave your comment below. Okay, let us check some comments here. Uh, so let's
Just... Oh, I need to find some. I will check on Amazon. Yeah, all your uh, representing US. Cheers. Thank you. Size and design looks great. Yeah, it has the C1K1. Is yeah, is it? It is a balanced mic. Um, so here is the thing, we want to like design the Edukasa to make it become smaller and smaller uh, so and become lighter so there is no space for us to like to uh, design like a really big XLR input here so we decided to use a USB-C to XLR and use one 3.5 millimeter so that it can happen in my it's my you know figure out the question about why you you use a 3.5 mm to excel on mics didn't see on amazon um it is available on amazon us and uh, canada now maybe it's out of stock I don't know, but if you want a link, we can send you in the Instagram or Facebook DM. Podcast singing, live stream, flexible sound quality streaming, nice sound effects. Are the three output configurable or are they all the same? Output? You mean output? So there is two like 3.5 millimeter outputs and one USB-C input and output. So mm -hmm. here is the like three outputs here. But when you adjust them, it's it's all the same. So you only need one one numb to adjust the output again. Love that. Thank you so much. How many inputs can you actually have at once? Uh, so there are two XLR inputs here and two 3.5 millimeter input. So let's see. So two XLR and two uh, 3.5 millimeter and mm -hmm. one USB-C input. And also you can connect your phones with Bluetooth mode mm -hmm. so that you can like if you have a phone call or you want to play some music so mm -hmm. here is like one two three four and this is awesome oh, oh this is also a auxing mm -hmm. so there are totally six inputs six right in yes and four output yeah there are totally six inputs input and, and four, four outputs, outputs. Mm -hmm. Yes, mic 1, 2, aux, plug ba balance the two mics, and also one like Bluetooth and one USB-C input. Mm -hmm. Good product. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This time we released the streaming podcast audio kit with the STAXRS. The audio kit contains one audio interface and a a uh, 16 millimeter cardio condenser SLR to 3.5 millimeter TRS mice STAXR X2S. Uh, it supports uh, 48 kilohertz and and 40 24 bits audio recording, which deliver professional studio quality. Yeah. Just now we're showing you like how the STA X2S looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition, the, uh, the X2S has a internal pop filter, integrated capsule shock mounting, and the mic has a built-in anti-shock anti -shock to reduce noise internally. So there is some noise here. 
there might be some noise here. And um, it is equipped with an upgraded metal pop filter and also the shock mount to enhance the stability and reduce the vibration and noise recording, achieving triple noise reduction. Oh, okay. Well, here is like um, already settled down, so. So here is the microphone and AD caster. We are already settled down. Mm -hmm. Let us look. And we will show you some like audio effects here. Yeah, you can see here. Um, and uh, this one. I don't know if you are looking. You can. All right. Uh, the STX2S has a SLR to 3.5 mm TRS analog output port, which uses a specific XLR interface, usually connected through input 1 or input 2 port. Uh, at, at this time, please use the original XLR to 3.5 mm TRS audio cable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is XLR to 3.5 mm TRS audio cable. Please note, note it that it do not need a uh, uh, 48 band power of uh, supply. Yeah. So when you connect to the AD class C1 with the uh, X2, as uh, please turn off the uh, 48, 48 volts pattern power supply, otherwise it will cause damage to the mic. Yes, and the two X2S is not a balanced mic. Of course, the X2S can be connected to the phones and computers, use the original cable and corresponding audio adapter cables. Yeah. And uh, the Edicaster C1 is ultra thin, and also yeah, you yeah. can see the here. Mm -hmm. It's really thin and mm -hmm. only uh, 16.5 millimeter in height, and 110 millimeter and 184 in millimeter in size. And ultra light is only 272 grams, as more as the iPad Mini. So you can easily take it with you anytime for indoor and outdoor recording. And the most surprising thing is that uh, there are multi-interface on the AT Caster C1. Uh, it is designed with six inputs and four outputs. The six inputs including three 3.5 mm ports, two USB-C to external SLR ports, uh, a USB-C port, the mini portable AD card C1 has dual SLR and 3.5 mm input interface is compatible with uh, most SLR and 3.5 mm microphones and supports 5 volts and 48 volt microphone input at the same time without trouble during multi people recording yeah exactly and um, basically you can use any microphone that you want on the AD caster and let's see some like comments here are the inputs each independently adjustable yes exactly we can adjust the input uh, separately and uh, you can connect the 3.5 millimeter mics like the providing provided X2S to the Edicaster C1 via the input port in one and in two. Or you can connect your XLR microphones like STM01. It's also a comic mic. It's the comic mic X um, STM01. It's a balanced mic. So you can see it here that we connect to the XLR and using this 
USB C port. So let me let me plug it. So once you plug it, you can make sure that you are open the 48 volt power. How to you just press it to open and turn turn on and turn off. Just press it. And you can also adjust the gain numb here. So you are good to go. Yeah, you can adjust the gain numb. So this one is for the input one and this one is for the input two. And right now we are plugged the STM01 to the input two. And also the original X2S is the input one. All right, uh, so the here the STM01 is a like a large diaphragm condenser mic with a 34 millimeter diaphragm. So for it's great for the studio quality audio and it's super low self noise. What's the problem here? So you wanna me to remove it? Okay, here we go. So it has super low self noise and distortion to bring you more pure and smooth voice. The and the most important feature is that it's the forty eight Venom power. It support forty eight Venom power. So this mic can be well compatible with the eighty Caster C one audio interface. And this one, the price is one hundred sixty nine, and you can buy it on Amazon or AliExpress if you want it. So, would we like test the audio here? Could we test the audio now? Test the STM O one's voice. Yeah. Let us waiting for a little bit of moment. So are we good? To, are we good to go? Let's check some comments, and we need to like a few minutes to prepare it. What is the size of an internal video card? I'm not sure. What are you talking about? Can we talk now? Are, are we, we good, good to go? go? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so we, we are preparing to like uh, let you hear the sound from the STM01 uh, directly from the Edicaster C1 so that you can hear the sound. And uh, I will put this microphone to you. To, so you are talking to this microphone, okay? Yes. So I'm here holding the STM01. Mm -hmm. So we're good to go. Mm -hmm. And this is STA XRS sound. So are you hear the sound from the STM01 and also the X2S yes. while mm -hmm. the Edicasa C1 now? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very cool. Nice voice. Thank you so much. And a condenser. <laughs> Beautiful microphone and condenser. Thank you so much. Yeah, are you hearing us right now? So you can hear the like effects. Yes, we can hear. All right. So here is the like a sound quality when we're using the STM01. It's a XLR microphone and also the X2S. It's a 3.5 millimeter microphone. Yes. And the, the sound source is directly from the Edicaster. We don't use any like, we don't use any effects or uh, we don't use any like uh, uh, EQ. So here is the original sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know how, how about the sounds and uh, if it's great. And you can also connect your like smartphones or computers to the Edicasa C1 while the aux in for the audio signals input. And you can adjust the volume level through the aux input volume control knob. So here is the aux in control knob. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
and uh, this is the third numb here. It's control the auxin. And here are two input numb here. You can control the numb. And here is for the monitoring and also the output gain. So the four outputs includes a USB C ports and three 3.5 millimeter ports equipped with a 3.5 millimeter and a USB C digital output interface. The ADCAS C1 can connect with three mobile phones or computers at the same time, achieving multi platform live streaming at the same time. Considering a more convenient user experience, we also decide an external Bluetooth 5.3 chipset. This is the button you can turn on the Bluetooth. Yeah, so like the button we are showing you just now. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, you can turn on the Bluetooth and uh, it supports stable transmission and low latency. It can be directly connected to the mobile phone without anywhere trouble. Audio tr transmits smoothly without disturbing. Yes. Uh, so you might ask how to you connect them via the Bluetooth for the aux, uh, for the audio input. So here is the step. Uh, the step one is turn on the ADCast C1 and move the Bluetooth switch to turn on the Bluetooth. And uh, the Bluetooth indicator starts to flash. And the step two is search for the device in the Bluetooth menu of smartphone. And uh, you will see that there is uh, a device saying coming at ADCast C1. Then you are good to go. But know that you should pay attention to Bluetooth connection is limited by distance. Please do not place yeah. the smartphone too far away from the AD Castle C1 to avoid interference. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so the pre-amplification gain can be adjusted independently to accurately control the input gain. And one click to real-time monitoring volume to adjust the output gain. And this is my one and my two game control knock and 48 volt power. power button yeah. turn to adjust game of microphone one. That is the microphone connect to input one and SLR one. Yes. If you connect it to the mic to AD culture C1, please mm -hmm. set the game of it to the minimum before turning on or turning off 48 both pattern power to avoid damaging the devices. If you need to connect to SLR mic, please turn on the uh, 48 volt pa pattern power. Accordingly, the indicator shows blue when the power is on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I've been using a portable mixer for podcasts that have internal storage. In other words, no need to connect to your computer. A standalone mixer, so does it not? record as well. Yeah, it doesn't record as well, but because it's too small and uh, there is no space for us to like design a record function here. So unfortunately, it, it does not record. I'd like to see how that works on some instruments. I have several. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have some mice you would like to try this out. All right. That would be like fantastic, like a partner for your microphones. Oh, sounds like a school PA system now. Nice. nice. Sounds effect. Yeah, yeah nice. and uh, there is also some like oxygen volume control knob that we are just uh, you know just uh, show you, and uh, you can adjust the volume of background music input with. Bluetooth and aux connection. And this is morning um, output volume switch. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the big knob here. Uh, press to switch monitor and output volume control. The corresponding indicator shows blue. You can see the indicator. When you in the monitoring mode, uh, you, you can see the indicator shows blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, turn to adjust monitor and output volume. This is a um, 
master control output knock, which controls all the sounds passing through the audio interface. Yeah, in the next part, we will like test like three EQ modes and three reverb modes and some voice effects on Edicaster C1. So the Edicaster C1 adopts touch sensitive panel design, which is more convenient than the conventional button control as it avoids the issue when the sound of the keys interference with the recording effect and allows for more flexible and visible operation. You can adjust the three EQ modes for Bryce. Oh, here is the room reverb with mm -hmm. the EQ nature. So I don't know if you can see this clearly. So here is the nature EQ and the reverb mode is room. So, oh, I see that why you guys are saying that is like a school PA system now. How can you turn off the Bluetooth? So uh, here is the button here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you will switch to turn on and turn off the Bluetooth. If the voice of the person who uses is ugly, the comic condenser and the microphone will really make it better. I love it. Thank you so much. So we will change it like, uh, uh, so this is the stage reverb. How does it sound? It sound great. It, this is stage reverb, and this one is the whole reverb. Mm -hmm. So the EQ here, this is the bright, deep. Am I, am I like, sounds like deep, or this is nature? Okay, I might turn it off. So this is a whole. Okay, all right. You can adjust the three EQ modes for bright, nature, and deep, and three reverb modes for whole, stage, and room, and the four voice changes modes for male, female, robots, monster, and independent tune function to enjoy different experience and provide you more interesting gaming and dreaming experience. Yeah, and the, on the bottom of it are five a presets here mm -hmm. and the one custom sound effect mm -hmm. so there are five warm-up sound effects of the applause let me show you so okay. this is the applause can you hear it can you hear it yes and also the cheers some funny and some embarrassing this is funny this is awkward this is funny okay so you can, can you hear the sound? Any features needed for my setup? Beautiful, amazing microphone. Thank you so much. And uh, also the last one is a custom, mm. uh, customized one. So we will check it too. So are you guys listening to the sound of it? Right? Let me know on the comments so that we can show you like customized. So you might ask how to use it customized. So the step is you can long press. Mm -hmm. So the light are flashing now. It means that it will record, uh, record sound and you can press it so that you're good to go. So your sounds are already recorded into the microphone. Yes, you can record songs, music, beats, wine, mice, external audio input device, Bluetooth device, and save it to AD Caster. There are some steps. Uh, recording with AD Caster C1 on, connected to mic or external audio input devices or Bluetooth devices. Now press the custom button until the indicator shows sign and enters recording mode. The longest recording time is 10 seconds. Yeah. So press to start recording and repeat the recording steps and the new recording will replace the old one. Yeah. And so press the custom button with existing custom audio to play or store audio. The indicator turns on or turns off when audio playing is on or off. Okay, nice. Will there be a way to change the other preset sounds? Oh, uh, there is no way to change the other presets, so it's already settled down. Sometimes we might want a large audience, a large, 
a large audience laughter or applause. All right. Well, we will take this into consideration and to see if we can, uh, like change this in the future while the like firm will update or something like that. So here is the. Like, can we? Can I not hold this microphone <laughs> right now? So let's like change the voice into the STAU two. How about? Mm -hmm. Let us change the voice. Can you change the voice? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So the Edicaster C1 is also designed with the one-click denoise and loopback and dock and the mute function and also the monitoring. And this is a denoise function. Yeah, let it us is show you. Automatically, auto filters background noise and ensures the cleanness of audio recording. This is a loopback. Yeah, mm -hmm. the you when you turn on the loopback, it will allow you allow the Edicaster C1 to record the system audio from the USB C input. So if it turned off, you can still hear mm -hmm. the system mm -hmm. audio from the monitoring, but it will not be recorded. Uh, it will be useful when you have a phone call with your remote guest on your podcast, or you want to like um, have a Zoom meeting or something like that. Yeah. And this is the dark mode can be uh, activate to lower the volume of background music and turn turn up the host's voice. It is suitable for taking while streaming. Uh, this is the mute button uh, when you face an unexpected yeah. situation during the live streaming. You can mute the sounds with the one click to avoid recording unwanted sounds. Uh, the AD C1 has two monitoring posts. You can connect two 3.5 millimeter TRS and TRS headphones to monitor at the same time, which is uh, suitable for two people for live streaming. Yeah, considering many people can use the AD C1 to live streaming, the AD C1 is equipped with a uh, 1800 mAh. A uh, high capacity battery, so it lasts six hours on a single charge and supports using while charging. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, the AD Catcher C1K1 is a multifunctional portable broadcasting and streaming audio interface. And my kit, the AD Catcher C1 has diverse inputs and output interface to support audio input and output. Advanced Bluetooth 5.3 technology uh, supports Y and Wireless background music input individual adjustments lungs for pre and game. Uh, motoring volume and output volume control says sound pad in able to record the sounds you like one click the noise, loopback, yeah. dock, muting, diverse uh, audio processing effects, adding the brand new STAX2S cardio condenser microphone, which studio level sound quality bring a vivid and convenient broadcasting and streaming experience. Uh, it is widely compatible with phones, tablets, uh, computers, and you can use the audio kit in podcast, streaming, karaoke, music recording. Yeah, uh, so there are so many features of the AD C1. Mm -hmm. And do you have any question about that? Please share your comments below and we will answer you later. And um, okay. So if you have any questions, you can leave it on the comment section so we can see it and we can have some discussion about that. So here is the... You guys are really comments. There are so many comments here. Nice. Gabriel Senator. So you, you know that you are one of the winners Right now, right? Just make them all cu customizable. Yeah, we will consider it. We will consider it to like uh, like make two 
uh, customize the thumb pad or more. It sounds like an easy fix. <laughs> oh, okay. Beautiful old Comica products, nice new release. Can I use it for live streaming? Yeah, it is designed for the live, live streaming. streaming podcasting audio kit. Yeah, you can uh, connect the audio interface to your computer or your smartphone via the USB-C uh, interface mm -hmm. or the 3.5 millimeter output or any output that you have so that you can use it on the live streaming. and. Uh, during the live streaming, you can easily adjust the gain control and also the output gain volume. Mm -hmm. And also, you, you can add some EQ and reverb. And also, there are some fun FX effects and also the sound pads mm -hmm. for you to add more like atmospheres during the live streaming. Dark function is a definitely a must. Yes, exactly. So, it's really useful when you are talking while yes. you are also playing some music mm -hmm. so that, that function so really important for us yes uh-huh only do one stream source being on youtube has not been good uh, yeah because the uh, because we only have more like more audiences on the facebook mm -hmm. so we are more like uh, pay more attention on the facebook maybe the yeah that can function is definitely a must have for talking in between music cuts thank you for including it definitely it for live stream and podcasting. podcasting USB-C does that mean it can be directly connected to the handphone yes exactly and also we include a USB-C to USB-C and USB-A cable so whether if you want to to connect to your uh, smartphone or also you can connect to your like uh, computers. So the cable is already included in the whole kit. And the price for the whole kit, I mean the audio interface and also these really decent microphones and all the cables that you need. And the whole kit is cost 169 that's really like affordable and uh, really cost effective. How many audio interferes does the AD cast you have? Oh have? How many mics can be connected at the same time? How many devices can be connected at the same time for live streaming? Actually, the AD caster C1 has uh, four, four, in, uh, four, four output ports and six, uh, six uh, input ports and um, uh, how many mice can be connected at the same time uh, actually yeah, you can you can connect the uh, four mice at the same time and uh, how yeah, many there are four output and six input ports and uh, there are two XLR external ports mm -hmm. in the um so the cable is already included and the usb port can also be used to input or output at the same time and uh, there are two 3.5 millimeter trrs output ports and one 3.5 millimeter trs port to connect to the speakers and also a 3.5 millimeter auxin for the audio signals and two 3.5 millimeter TRS input ports for the mic. So totally you can connect for four mics to record at the same time and connect three devices to live streaming at the same time. Yes. <coughs> can you adjust the dock for variations? So change from 60 dB or... 6 or 18 extra? No. No, so, so it's not like uh, adjustable. The product will be shown here in the Philippines because it made important promise. Thank you. Will there be a giveaway for this? Is amazing. Yes. yes. At the end of today's live streaming, we'll 
give away, away one, one kit of yeah. Eddie has to see one. Yes. So looking forward to it and stay tuned. Mm -hmm. I just saw the announcement. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. This is another like uh, winners of our uh, uh, new release events. Yes. Giveaway. Congratulations. Yeah. And so uh, thank you so much for like um, following us on the Instagram when we have a new launch. We will always doing some giveaway events on the Instagram and Facebook. So if you haven't follow us yet, please follow. Yeah, please follow us. The Comica products will be shouted here in the Philippines because it's amazing products, promise. Yeah, we're Thank also... You. Yeah, we're definitely sell it on uh, in Philippines. the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Amazing girls, great produce in the last year. In this hmm? last year. Hello. So if you have any questions about the eight caster C one or STAU two. Yeah, or STAU two that we have like introduced before, you can mm -hmm. let us know and we can have some discussions together. Yes. Do you have some questions? And also prepared for the very last live streaming giveaway. Yes, giveaway. So we're waiting for more like comments right now. And right now we are recording with the STU2 here. Where can I find species specifications on this one? So you can check it on our website. Yes. Or you can if DM you want, us. yeah, you can DM us if you want mm -hmm. to know more like specifications of the microphones, yes. of the frequencies, or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can DM us on Instagram or Facebook so that mm -hmm. we can tell you more details. It works with cell phone or just on PC? Yeah, it works on smartphones or cell, or cell phones phone. and also works on PC too. PC tablets? Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, you can uh, uh, connect to your phones via the USB-C port so it's like a directly digital output here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much Kamika, I love you so much Kamika. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> and it's like amazing. You can give us a thumbs up or like or something. Or I want you lesson. singing using the new release I love. Well, uh, because the SDA U2 um, includes three sound presets, like singing, uh, podcasting, and the live streaming. So we can show you like singing modes. So here is the singing mode. I'm not wearing the headphones, so I, I didn't. I cannot tell you if there is any like difference between. Mm -hmm. But now I'm turning it to the singing mode, so you can hear how the singing mode sounds like. So here is singing mode. So here I'm turning off. Yes. Can I adjust the two XLR inputs again separately? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the input one numb is controlled the XLR input one and also the 3.5 millimeter input one. And the, the input two numb controls the XLR input two and also the 3.5 millimeter input two. I got a UHF mics from you and they are amazing. Thank you so much. No question, no, question, no comment about comment. comment. It's good and high quality, easy to use, amazing. Thank you. So far, I have tried several real products, but using a condenser mic would require some real world usage. Yes. So what kind of like... Mm -hmm. mm, so are you doing some podcast or live streaming?
Okay, we will like waiting for last five minutes and start our last, last giveaway. Last giveaway. Mm -hmm. The yeah. last part of giveaway. Can I hear you sing? <laughs> Next time, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time? Yeah. Just have three channels more. Three channels, what kind of three channels mean? Actually, AD Cars Z1 has six input ports and, and uh, with high yeah. volumes. Output. How does it do this? Um, so it actually inserts some uh, denoise. Uh, how to say that? So denoise function is automatically into the Edicaster C1. And if you want to improve, like improve more uh, sound quality things, you can connect to a better like studio microphones. So that you will definitely get a more better like uh, audio quality. Is there a separate mute, mute control for inputs one and two? Oh no, uh, there is no separate mute button here. Yes. No. But you can adjust the gain separately. Yeah. On the AD caster. You guys have any questions about that? So if you guys have more questions, you can let us know. And uh, we will have a uh, review recruitment in the, yeah, in the next month. So if you want to like have some tests, about or making some review videos on our products, you can contact us. I work with musicians, I have to, and so I do look our real files that were well that no one else have tried before. day for the life mm -hmm. and all the products we are talking about uh, t in today are available on Amazon and Aliexpress now mm -hmm. so you can find them okay if you have any questions please let us know any questions about like about the new products, the new launch, or uh, other products, all be okay. All right, so. So the lecture is come to an end and uh, thank all of you for staying in our life for like, it's almost two hours now. Now, exciting time. Anyone who wants to use our Edicast C1, here's a good chance to get it. So leave a comment to share what feature you like most in Edicast C1 and why you like it. We will take a screenshot in the comment area and randomly select a lucky winner to send us to send the ADCast C1 to you. Yes, please leave a comment down below to share what features you like most in ADCast C1 and why you like it. And we will screenshot one lucky winner to give away our ADCast C1K1. Hello from India. Hi, I like the 48 band power. What features do you like on ADCast C1K1 and tell me why? Yeah, uh, Please. were you notified by social media networks for the recruitment of the reviewers? Yes, we will like posts on this special recruitment event like we did 
last year, like every month we will have a recruitment. So in this year, we only do some like a new products recruitment here. You can follow our Instagram and Facebook. We will let you know like when it's opened. When's the next life after this? I hope always life. You hope always life or you hope always like a giveaway events. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amazon is great for me. I buy always from South America. Oh, that's good. Oh, there were so many comments right now. <laughs> the next live streaming might be in June. Yeah. Might be in June or maybe next month. I'm not very sure about that. But if you want to like uh, see more content or get more like audio knowledges, you can like direct the message us. So we can try to make it happen. This is really cool. We should have more knobs to adjust the input besides the two microphones and the aux. Okay, got that. Gotcha. It's really cool for first podcast or recording session. Like the support one click denoise. All right to get immersive audio. Please tell me what features do you like on AD Culture C1 and tell me why you like it. And this is a room to enter our giveaway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And soon we will have a screenshot and the first comments showing on the screenshot will be the winner of the AD Culture C1. Mm -hmm. So like it with the support individual mic preamps, monitor volume and output gain control is uh, to improve my recording on college. Great. Please tell me why you like these features. I love the three EQ modes and three reverb from Gaia. There are so many comments here. Can we adjust the angle of the mic? Yes, yes. exactly. So uh, here is some numbs, so you can like turn it uh, clockwise or so so that you can adjust the angle. Mm -hmm. So then tighten up, mm -hmm. so you are good to go. So it will it be like more higher angle right now. Let me show you. And uh, if you purchase the ARM version of that, you can also see that there, there is also a numb here. So you can adjust the, the angle too. So you don't have to worry about the angle right now. Mm -hmm. It's already good to go. All right. So hope it helps you. I also love the six hour battery option because I can go out and use it on the go. I can connect multiple microphones and do a podcast at home without having to worry about the cables and dangling things. Love the dock function. Okay, let's li like have a screenshot right now. Let me take my phone. So I will like randomly choose the comment section. So you need, so you need, need to close up it. Oh, you are still like commenting right now. Let's count down from, let's count down from, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Oh, just screenshot. It's actually in the. It's, it's not a. It's not a comments. It's a. Mm -hmm. oh, let's do it again, right? So it's like. So let's count down from five, four, four three, three, two, two, one. 
So it's com comment from the Tom Bibler. I like the 48 vo uh, volt phantom and I like the custom sound button. Let me show you the... Let me show you the screenshot here. Here is the screenshot. So congratulations! Congratulations! Please DM our social media and we will send us the prize after the live streaming. Yes. Please DM us your address and uh, more info so that we can send you the kit. And thank you. Thank all of you that are commenting for us. Mm -hmm. I like the USB Type C feature because I can live streaming easily because it can be connected directly to the handphone and not need USB Type C. It's also flexible so it can be connected to many devices. Thank you so much, Nava. So, uh, the live streaming is about to end here. If you have any questions, you can DM our social media platform. Also, don't forget to follow our social media accounts like Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. We will provide more product knowledge on our platform or share our so. Uh, Share our social media accounts with your family, parents, or friends, colleagues. Let more people know us. Thank you so much. So if you get, um, if you did not get our new products in this live streaming, do not upset. We will hold our new products recruitment, reviewer recruitment activity at the beginning of next month and welcome more high quality content mm -hmm. creators to review our STAU2 and AD Custer C1K1. So this is the end oh, of today's okay, live streaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of your supports all the time. We will see, see you, you next yes. next live streaming. This is Zoe. This is Satri. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so let's see the comments. <laughs>